Morning. I want you to go back to the memorandum that the Attorney General issued on October 4th of last year. Very first sentence. In recent months, there's been a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, threats of violence against school administrators, board members, teacher staff who participate in the vital work of running our nation's public schools. When he testified, when the Attorney General testified, we asked him a simple question. What was the basis for you putting that first sentence in your memorandum? And what did he say? What did he say? He said it was the letter from the National School Boards Association that they have now said, we regret and apologize for sending. The letter, as the gentleman from Texas just pointed out, they coordinated with the White House to use the words domestic terrorism in the letter and cite the Patriot Act. That is what, that's why we want the correspondence back and forth in addition to the few emails we've been able to uncover because it was all coordinated and it was based on that coordinated letter that the Attorney General of the United States writes that first sentence. There was no other evidence. I'm gonna take the word of a left-wing political organization that's been in cahoots with the White House to put this together because we think it's gonna be to our political advantage. They found out it wasn't and Glenn Youngkin's now the governor of Virginia because of it. But that's what they did. We want all the communications between the White House, the NSBA, and the Justice Department that put this whole scheme together. 